In this video, we are going to review tips and tricks for how to utilize wireframe to improve surface creation. We will start with using the project elements command, and within project elements, we will proceed with the imprint command. Observe that one face has a larger area than the other face. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the imprint option to separate these faces out. We'll start by creating wireframe around this area, picking from point to point where we want that imprinted edge to be. Then I'll use the project elements command, selecting that wireframe, and then selecting the face or surface that that wireframe is going to be imprinted on. We'll select the imprint option, and that's going to create a brand new edge. When we use the delete extract faces or any face selection type of command, you'll see these faces are now separated. After the imprinting is complete, we will delete the faces that we're trying to make a better surface out of. Make sure you pick all the sliver faces here. As you can see, we're doing our selection for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the delete option within delete extract faces. This creates an open edged area that which will create a better surface. Observe the highlighted edge and how jagged it is. We're going to look into ways to improve this corner. And by doing so, we're going to add a tangent curve between the two edges. To do this, we're going to use the blend with curve command. We'll pick between the two edges, and you can see how it's going to create that tangent curve between the two edges. Next, we will create a wireframe boundary around the entire open area. We're going to use the command draw edges. When we use the command draw edges, we can simply pick any edge of the open boundary and select boundary. This creates a wireframe boundary around the entire area. It will include the jagged edge, so all we have to do is just simply delete that out and use our blended edge. Now that we have wireframe around our open boundary, we're going to use the auto constraint surface command. We're going to go ahead and do a drag window over all the curves, and we can hit preview and you'll see it creates a surface. Observe that the only option we have is inside a patch here. With inside a patch being the only option, that may not necessarily be the most ideal solution. So what we're going to do now is we're going to concatenate these curves together. So on all four sides, we're going to use the concatenate curves command. We'll pick between our starting side and our ending side. Observe that the arrow is going the correct direction, but just in case it is not, you can use the spacebar to toggle that arrow. When you get the arrow in the right direction, just simply right-click, and it will concatenate all the curves in between. As you can see, these two corners are correct. And when you only have two curves, there is no arrow because it's going to directly connect those two curves together. Now repeating the auto constraint process, you will see that there's more surface commands that are selectable based on us manipulating the wireframe. So as you can see, we have a larger list of selected surface options. We'll choose tangent patch surface here, as you can see. And we're going to, in addition, turn off the retain original elements. This prevents the wireframe from being selected on any other parts of your model. Using the unite command, we will now join the two surfaces to form them into one. This will help us in further surface creation. Next, we're going to enable the mark open edges by going into system settings and within the graphics area. There's a checkbox for mark open edges. Within mark open edges, you have the ability of changing the color to something else, as well as change the line thickness. As you can see, it will mark any open edges that would prevent us from turning this into a solid or using the surface area for creating a cavity. It is also possible to create a quick key for this option too. Now deleting this face, we're gonna repeat what we covered previously when it comes to fixing poor surfaces. We'll start by creating a wireframe boundary around this area using the draw edges command. As you can see, the boundary command does work because we united the previous surface we were working on. Now we use the auto constraint command, selecting the edges the same way, and you can see how it creates a clean surface. Let's go ahead and confirm this. And then, using the unite command again, this will unite that surface to the rest of the bodies. These processes can be repeated across this entire design and shows the power of Visi for advanced surfacing. Mm -hmm. 